Okay, welcome back. So, in the previous video, we discussed this ACS712 current uh, current uh, sensor, really, Hall Effect sensor. And I said that you could measure AC current with it. And I went through the theory, and here we are now. So, in this part of the video, I'm going to show you the wire up. Um, now, I'm going to be sure of a few different things when I do it. Um, I've got an RCBO, which is an RCD and an MCB in one. And the idea of this um, this RCBO is that if um, an amount of amperage flows out of the live terminal and it doesn't return through the neutral terminal, then this thing shuts off within, I think it's 30 milliseconds or something like that. So it's a great safety device, but it's still not safe. You can still get awful shocks and you could still kill yourself potentially. So just don't do it, okay? Um, right, so anyway, time to start. The way I'm going to do this is, um, well, I'll show you what I've got to start with. I've got the ACS712 and I've got an Arduino Nano. I'm going to need these two. I've also got some female uh, jumper wires. I think they're called, uh, what are they called? DuPont cables, I think. But these are the female ones. Um, of course, I've got my USB uh, plug as well and my computer. I've also got some other bits. I've got this socket, uh, plug socket, it's a UK plug socket. I've got um, the screws that go with it and I've got a broken uh, back plate or whatever it's called, I don't know what it's called. But that's what I've got. Um, I've also got a UK plug. It's fused, as they all are really. And down here we've got the three wires exposed. I've got the live, neutral and earth. And the way this is going to work is that when this is plugged in, um, the live wire is going to go straight to the socket, the earth wire is going to go straight to the earth of the socket, and the neutral wire is going to go through the ACS712, and then it's going to go out of the ACS712 to the neutral wire of that. And um, the reason why I'm doing that is because this live wire is, well, it's exactly that, it's live. Uh, this will be uh, from minus 300 volts to plus 300 volts AC I want to avoid this wire at all costs really which is why I measure on the neutral wire so the neutral wire will be low voltage uh, I would have thought it would be a couple of volts AC uh, but it will still have an amount of current flowing through it so obviously the way it works is this uh, feeds a load as the load uh, is being fed, the voltage drops and then this simply completes the circuit. And Earth, um, if for whatever reason something live uh, you know, gets connected to this Earth cable here then any current that goes through the, uh, any voltage that goes through the live uh, will just sink straight to Earth, at least that's the idea. So yeah so this will go to the switch, that will go to the switch, this will go to the ACS and then back out to the switch or the socket and um, and basically that's that's going to be all there is to it but let's start let's get this out of the way to start with I'll open this up and where's the live, I'll have to feed it through here actually so feed it through there and live, I'll just bend that over Bend that over and feed it through the live terminal on the switch. And screw it back up. Just want to get a really good connection there, so I'm going to undo that and try it again. That's better. I can see that it's bitten into the wire better there. So there's the live done make sure that's nice and tight and the earth again through the box I don't actually know what that thing's called I think it's called a patras box or something like that um, so get the earth and feed the earth through here as well yeah when I was um, when I was about 16, I think it was, um, in the UK we do something called work experience and the idea is that 
that in school um, everybody leaves with at least some work experience and um, for my work experience I worked with an electrician so I learned the very basics um, from him you only do it for a couple of weeks I think it might be six weeks or seven weeks or something like that um, but yeah that's something we do in the UK and uh, yeah it's just come to mind uh, as I was wiring this up Anyway, so this here is going to go to the ACS712, but I need to do something before that. I need to cut this wire in half. So let's cut that in half, like that, and this will go to the neutral over here. Just wire that in. So that's why it's a neutral. Then I want to go through here like that. Do it that way actually. And now uh, you can see how this is looking. I've got um, I've got the thing wired up, but it's split in the neutral. So I'll just check that I've got that right. Live earth neutral, it's looking good. So I'll screw that up. I need to strip these wires here and feed these into the ACS712 and this one here right that one hasn't quite cut, I'll leave that one again I've been looking for a decent wire stripper for some time I've been trying different ones out, you know, to see which one I prefer and uh, I'm not actually that favourable about this one. It seems okay, but I don't know. Right, so now time to wire this up. So let's undo it here and simply wire it in. I think I'll just twist them first. Twist that and push it in. That seems okay. That's in, nice and tight, and this next one, you can see that that's going to be too long, so I'll just snip that a bit, that's better, and wire this one in, and screw it down, and there we go. So now I've got the, the plug which I will plug into the mains, I've got live that goes straight to the live of the, uh, the socket and this thing's switched, then I've got earth just for safety and I've got the neutral wire which I've got the ACS712 on which will hopefully be able to measure the current that flows through. So the next thing I need to do is, um, well, wire the Arduino I suppose. So I've got this this uh, little collection of wires here, and I'll just push these on. So ground, out, and VCC, and on the Arduino. So VCC is orange. VCC is orange. So VCC should be five volts. So that's this one. Five volts. Brown is ground. Where's ground on here? There's ground. Ground and this one. This is an analog out pin, so this needs to go to A zero preferably. A zero. There we go. So this thing's all wired up and ready to go. Now, um, what I need to do next is to plug this plug in and then put some sort of device on here and just be sure that this works uh, safely. So I'll do that now.